Hey guys, you're watching video 72 and today we're talking about flood zones and how to determine if the property that you're interested in is in one. I recently discovered it's very difficult for consumers to figure out whether or not a property that they're interested in is in a flood zone or is it not. So I wanted to give you two resources that you can use to help you figure out if that property you're interested in is in a flood zone. As a general rule of thumb, property located near a body of water, I'm talking about substantial bodies of water, not these Florida lakes, AKA ponds, I mean rivers and oceans, you are probably in a high risk flood zone. But there are certain properties and locations scattered throughout Brevard County that are still in a lower risk flood zone because let's face it, we're in Florida and elevation is basically non-existent. The most reputable source out there is known as the Federal Emergency Management Agency, otherwise known as FEMA. So FEMA offers a website, it's called the Flood Map Service Center, where you can literally search any property in the United States and figure out if it's in a flood zone or not. Another source, and you knew it was coming, was to ask your real estate agent. So as realtors, we have access to information about property that the general public does not. So being a part of the board of realtors, we have a program known as IMAP. And IMAP grants us a lot of information about properties that most people don't even know exists. I can see the seller's name, I can look up the annual property taxes, I can see if it recently sold and for how much, and I can also figure out if it's in a flood zone. Depending on your preference and ultimately budget, if a property that you're interested in is in a flood zone, it can really make or break the decision. And this is because if you're purchasing a property that is in a flood zone and you're financing it or going to be carrying a mortgage, your lender is going to require you to carry flood insurance, which is an additional cost for your monthly mortgage amount. And this, depending on the location, can range anywhere in the hundreds to thousands of dollars additionally per year. Whenever I'm out showing property and if the home is in a flood zone, I always point it out to my clients because I understand how this can impact their overall decision to purchase the home. So if you find yourself in a similar situation, you should reach out to your insurance agent because he or she should be able to generate a quote for that flood insurance policy like Kit Fisher over at Prime One, shout out, does for me. So if you have any questions about FEMA or flood maps or just purchasing property in a flood zone, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And other than that, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Monday.